in past times, bridges were used only to cross gaps, but as the civilization evolutionates, they have become much more than that. The answer to the meaning a specific bridge can have doesn't come so much from what it is as in how it's done. A bridge can be built in many different ways, with looks very different from one another. And depending where it's built and how it's designed, it starts to become a completely meaningful icon to the city and of course the citizens. The Alamilla Bridge completed in just 31 months for the 1992 World's Fair in Sevilla, Spain was instantly recognized as a landmark, joining the list of numerous memorable historic structures in this remarkable city. Seville is the artistic, cultural and financial capital of the southern Spain. It is the capital of Andalusia and of the province of Seville. It is situated on the plain of the river Guadalquivir, with an average elevation of 7 meters above sea level. Seville is ranked as the fourth largest metropolitan area of Spain, just after Madrid, Barcelona and Valencia. The bridge, constructed as part of the infrastructure's improvement for the Expo in 1992, was a response to the needs of Andalusian officials, who sought to improve the connections between Sevilla and the neighboring towns. The Alamillo Bridge spans the canal of Alfonso VIII, allowing access to La Cartuja an island between the canal and the Guadalquivir River. Santiago Calatrava is an internationally recognized and award-winning Spanish architect, sculptor and structural engineer. Calatrava's style has been heralded as bridging the division between structural engineering and architecture. Calatrava is currently designing the future train station, the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, at Ground Zero in New York City. This is a can deliver spar cable stay bridge, and it consists of a single pilot contrabalancing a 200 meter span with 13 length cables. The original intent was to build symmetrical bridges on either side of the island, but in the end, the Alamina's singular design has proved most striking. The construction of the Alamina Bridge began in 1989 and was completed in 1992. Rather than the back stays of Calatrava, allow it of the concrete steel, steel pylon to counterbalance the deck by substituting one set of stay cables with the weight of the pylon inclined 58 degrees, he created a new type of cable stage bridge, spanning meters 13 pairs of stay cables support an hexagonal steel box beam. The spine serves as an elevated footpath bisecting cantilevered traffic lanes 1.6 meters below. The Alamillo Bridge confounds the absorption that static objects are by nature symmetrical and inherently rigid. Lacking the traditional backstage of most asymmetrical bridges, the Alamillo Bridge incorporates potential energy into structure. The pylon's mass should tip over backward. Without backstage, the pylon should bend toward the water. Pulled by the tension cables and the road deck they are attached to. 
Calatrava's design achieved structural equilibrium by a sight of a hand. The pylon's own weight pulls it downward. The backward can contract the tendency of the road. Roadway stays to bend the tower toward the water. The downward and the backward forces of the pylon necessitate a resistance only to vertical forces. This minimizes the mass of foundations and enables the pylon to gratefully stake its presence in the ground and to direct the pedestrian and automobile movement onto land and beyond. The major benefit that the Alamillo Bridge represents is that it improves the connections between Seville and neighboring towns, making easier the cultural and economical integration, as well as reducing the journey time. This bridge also represents the soaring aspiration of the city of Sevilla in preparation for Expo 92, and it's a landmark, joining the list of numerous memorable historic structures in this city. This way, it becomes a tourist attraction and generates incomes to Sevilla.